Hello, welcome to this series of videos on solo wargaming with me, the Solo General. Uh, what's this all about? Well, we're going to go through a whole bunch of videos here, quite short, talking about uh, three sets of rules. Heroes All, Fight Your Own Battles, Fight Your Own Wars. Heroes All is a set of rules that uh, allows you to play a World War II game, 15 to 28 mil, relatively small forces, talks about command and control, talks about observing, firing, moving, assaults, engineers, buildings, gliders, paratroops, bridges, all that kind of stuff, aircraft, boats, all that kind of stuff's in Heroes All, and that kind of gives you the ability to um, get together with your mates and play a game. Now, um, once you've done that, if you want to get into solo wargaming, which is why hopefully you're here and what this is all about, then you'll get into fight your own battles. So what fight your own battles does is give you a mechanism that enables you to fight a war game on the table single-handed. World War II, 15 to 28 mil. Sound familiar? Yeah, well, funnily enough, uh, you're using the same uh, rules for observing and movement and shooting and all that kind of stuff that already appears in Heroes All and fight your own battles just gives you a mechanism to do that solo so you can see one kind of segues into the other clever isn't it um, on the end of that we've got uh, fight your own wars now fight your own wars is all about campaigning so not only can you play a small game on your table like with your mates you can then go and do a kind of solo game play something similar and then if you want to you can um, move that up and play a solo campaign all sorts of sizes you could do a mini campaign with small forces on either side you can have a crack if you've got enough time space uh, and a high enough boredom threshold you could do operation sea lion barbarossa whatever you want to do the whole point of fight your own uh, wars is that you can run a campaign based on the fight your own battles rules which are based on the heroes all uh, fighting and shooting observing so it kind of hangs all together all these videos are going to fit together. Uh, this one is just an introduction to tell you what they're all about and how do you get all these rules. Well, if you go to fightyourownbattles.co.uk, there's a download section and all these rules are for free. Why are they free, you're asking me? You're, they're free because I don't feel disposed to want to charge for them. It doesn't mean they're a pile of crap and, and they're just bashed together and they're just three bits of paper and you can, you know, a cheap old set of rules that anybody can play with. Heroes All runs to, he says, looking at the introduction in front of him, the contents run to 72 pages in Heroes All. Fight Your Own Battles is about the same size. Fight Your Own Wars is probably a little bit smaller. But it's all there for free. What also you get when you um, download Fight Your Own Battles and Heroes All is you get a set of cards which are a free download and these uh, give you all of the information you need for all of the weapons, tanks, vehicles, planes, all that kind of stuff that are going to appear on your table. There's also a, a kind of quick reference guide also produced in little cards and the cards are produced in such a size that if you go to your local games workshop or probably Dungeons and Dragons type shop online or in the high street you can uh, down, you can buy some plastic sleeves and they all fit in they're a standard size all the stuff's um, given in the download so you can see what you're going to get and what you're going to need you're going to need some dice of course so d6 d10s d4s usual stuff nothing fancy i think there's some d averages and some d percentages been used but if you haven't got those you can rock and roll uh, or you can buy plain dice and write all over them which is what i used to do when i was a kid uh, these days more and more dice are uh, available online they're relatively cheap you also don't need thousands and thousands of troops the um, the average size of an element in heroes all is a platoon which is 10 figures three of those and a few more blokes give you a company and my table size is only about six by four so you don't need 2,000 blokes and 400 tanks you can get away with half a dozen vehicles aside and maybe two boxes of soldiers and that's that kind of is done that way because I'm, I'm interested in trying to get new younger people 
um, into playing World War II war games. In fact, playing war games anyway. Uh, games Workshop does a great job in getting them interested in playing with figures on the table and doing something tactile. How about getting them to play World War II? That said about World War II, there's no reason why you can't use these same rules to do something like the uh, Spanish Civil War and you can probably stretch the rules into the 1950s if you can come up with your own interpretation on aircraft and some of the modern tanks and all the rest of it. So there's no real reason why we're fixed in 1939-1945. You can stretch the boundaries either end. So that's me done for this introduction. That tells you what we're, we're about to do over the next load of videos. I've probably got 30 or 40 lined up to do. They're all going to be four or five minutes. None of them are going to be epics, Ben-Hur and all that. Uh, what I will say to you though is just for the minute have a look at the Fight Your Own Battles website but uh, just a word of advice don't go downloading stuff just yet you can download Heroes All that's done, finished, boxed off, ready to go Fight Your Own Battles is getting a bit of a tweak at the minute and Fight Your Own Wars is having a major rewrite so for the minute hang off on uh, ordering Fight Your Own Battles or downloading it uh, give me a couple of weeks and by I would think yeah a couple of weeks from now Fight your own battles will be ready to go and you can download that and there'll be some new spangly pictures and, and um, uh, some of the old typos will be removed and it'll be ready to go. That's me done. I'm off to paint some figures, um, put a few kits together for some tanks and probably go down the pub at some point. Uh, if I bump into you, say hello. Uh, if I don't, enjoy your solo wargaming. See you soon. Look, you know how this works. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, hit the notifications bell and when more stuff arrives, you'll be the first to know.